Today, we're talking about the seated row. Hello, and welcome back. Today, we're talking about the seated row, and we're gonna divide the one big exercise into two smaller exercises. Both exercises are very beneficial, and they target different parts of your back. First, the low row. You wanna start with a neutral grip or underhand grip. When you perform the rowing action, you want your elbows down near your torso. So it looks something like this with your elbow right near your torso, doing a low row. That's gonna work your latissimus dorsi and your teres major. If you don't have access to a seated row machine, good alternatives would be the barbell row or the single arm dumbbell row. The second exercise we're gonna talk about is the high row. When you perform the low row, your elbows are down by your torso. When you perform the high row, you're gonna want your elbows away from your torso, almost forming a 90 degree angle. So when you pull back, your elbows stay high, thus squeezing your shoulder blades together, contracting your mid traps, your rhomboids, and your posterior deltoid. Alternatives to the high row could be reverse pec deck. TRX bands, and you can even use dumbbells to perform bent laterals. Both exercises are very beneficial and you should do both of those exercises throughout the week, either on the same day or on different days. Once again, the primary movers for the low row are the latissimus dorsi and the teres major. The primary movers for the high row are the mid traps, the rhomboids, and the posterior deltoid. So if you're doing both exercises, you're working at least five major back muscles. Hopefully this answers some questions on the seated row. Subscribe to see more exercise tips and we'll see you in the next video.